Hey there, has Uber Eats misled you with all the pretty colors and high surge pay? Hello again everybody and welcome to the channel. On my channel I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. If you're new, please consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified when I come out with new content. Over the last two weeks, I've noticed the heat map on Uber Eats indicating surge pricing. And I would see the red collars and just like a moth drawn to the flame, I would want to go to that surge area. But I do know better from doing rideshare that you don't chase surge. Did I chase it in this instant? Yes, because I uh, wanted to earn some more money. It was a little slow, and so I stuck around in the area. As it turns out, I did not get paid for those orders. So Uber Eats is misleading you by showing that heat map and saying, here's $12 on your next order, as you can see in the screenshot. Again, when I did Uber and I would see surge pricing, it would stick with me until the next rider. If I went offline, then I would lose that surge pricing. But this is misleading. I did contact Uber Eats and it took several days because their system was down and I had to follow up a couple times. Finally, several customer service reps with Uber Eats did respond back and generally they did say the same thing. They reference this article, which I will link in the description so you can read it yourself. It talks about surge pricing. One thing I notice is it says you can be paid. So I spent a couple hours, it was slow anyway, I should have quit, but I spent a couple hours driving around uh, hoping for the surge pricing, but I didn't get it. So don't make the same mistake. If you see all the pretty colors, don't get excited by it. Just stick with your normal routine of accepting deliveries. If you do end up getting the surge pricing, it's going to show up immediately when you have an offer. Don't expect it to show up later. When you see this screenshot showing $12 on your next order, what does it make you think of? Am I being too naive in assuming that that actually means I'll get the $12 on my next order? How do you take it? Would you feel misled as well? I'm curious. Please let me know what you think. I do give Uber Eats credit. At least they acknowledged my concern and said they're going to review it internally. Will that translate into some change in the app so that I don't see the surge pricing again misleading me thinking I'm going to get that, that bonus? I don't know. Please do take this video as a warning. It may save you time and frustration of trying to contact Uber for your money when actually it's not something that's going to happen. I appreciate your attention for this quick update, and I'll let you get back out there on the road making that money. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.